Hey guys, I'm Derek from Werther Leather Goods in downtown Norfolk, and I brought my wife May with me to the shop to Hi show guys. off to show off some of the bags and other items that I've made for her. Uh, I've been in business for 10 years now, and um, we've been in, together for right at 10 years as well. Um, so these these items kind of um, they kind of tell our story um, and our, go through the journey with us of love. That's right. Um, we'll take a walk down memory lane and try to remember when we got the products, how we use them, and tell a couple stories and show you how they work. So and this goes back to 2011. One of the very first things that I made um, was this picture of us um, in Philadelphia. And I um, surprised May and for Valentine's Day, I think 2011. We were sweet in love, so it's, it was just a, a gesture that was unique to Derek and what he had recently started doing with leather work. So we lived, I lived in Philadelphia at the time, and that's why it's us in front of the Liberty Bell. We had gone to visit the Liberty Bell um, on one of his first trips to the city. And that so. was the first time we held hands. That is true, so that's, we're holding hands. That's why. It was getting serious. Um, Derek and I knew each other growing up, and I knew he was creative and good at making things, so it was fitting with him. Okay, and then a couple of years later, May had a uh, just a bright teal um, coach wristlet that she got from a friend's wedding um, as a bridesmaid, and it was it was this exact same size, but she couldn't put her phone and all her cards and stuff in it. So all I did, I, went, I made it the exact same thing, um, essentially, but I added about an inch or so gusset to the width, and she got home one day, and I. I put her phone and all of her stuff inside of it, closed it up and put it in her work bag where she normally would get her, her little wristlet and um, called her a couple times and um, she, didn't, she didn't answer. I'm like, come on, your phone's ringing. I've, <laughs> I've called you. I called her like three or four times, but um, this is, it ended up being a product called the Maniunk Small Zipper Bag. So Maniunk's the neighborhood in Philadelphia where I was living and he eventually moved as well and we lived when we first got married. And I really did carry this as my main wallet for a couple years, so. Now I've taken it over. Now he's taken it over. I think that she wanted, I don't know, I, I think maybe it wasn't big enough to put your keys in it and your, the phone's and got, the the phone. phone's got bigger right. and then you couldn't put your key and the phone and everything else in there. So I, I made her one a little bit bigger. She wanted the hands free when she's shopping and stuff. Um, so this was the first, this is now like the long zip wallet on the website, but um, this was an early version, kind of backwards. I had the divider and the hard slots on the wrong side. And I don't really do the wristlet. I've changed, anyways, it's a little bit different. Um, but this is something I made for her probably 2013 or so. Sounds about right. So this one was, I think, took over as my main wallet for a few years after retiring the black one there. And I don't think I used the wrist strap as much as I imagined I would, but it was nice if I was at the store and needed both hands um, just to hold it right like that. So good memories with that one too. Yeah. And then I started doing some more bags. Um, this I had a, a friend from growing up asked if I could do a bag for his wife. I think it was maybe a maybe it was a diaper bag for them. Um, but before I made the bag, I wanted to make one for us in May to try out the design. So this is a real early zip tote that I gifted to May. It was, maybe it was. Um, a little bit of a different design. I, I, I thought it was real cool at the time. Um, so th yeah, so there actually, there was an issue with this bag. So this is the leather I use for the wallets. And uh, May wore this when we went on a date. We walked to the movie theater and she had like a white tank top on. And after that five or 10 minute walk there, five or 10 minute walk back, her shirt just looked a little bit dirty. Um, and some of the oils and dyes from these leathers can when you're rubbing can kind of soak into what, you know, 
it doesn't it doesn't mess up your cards or your pockets or anything like that. Um, but when it's worn as a purse or a crossbody, you can do that. Anyway, she she wore it some. I don't know how much she liked it. I enjoyed this bag a lot. It was never a daily bag that I used, but good memories there too. Somewhere along the lines, we got married in there, and this one is a little bracelet that I made for May before we went to the hospital, right? I don't know if Derek made this when I was in labor, but I remember I asked for it when I was in labor. So did you actually cut it out and make I it so, during that, that, that time? That, that morning you were... We were at uh, home, baby. We do. weren't sure if the baby was coming. Turns out she was coming. Having contractions, and I packed up the car, and then I, I had the, you know, the workbench was at home at the time. Um, so I just went to the workbench and, you know, cut it out. And I, I was trying to make a heart. It was, I didn't have the tool that I have now that I, where I can um, burn a little heart. So I kind of pressed it in a couple different ways. I think I used a, I used a V and a three. No, I don't have letters. A B. a B. I used a B and a V and kind of smashed them together. It looks pretty good. I don't know. If, um, it has sunscreen on it, I think. I don't know. It's a heart. It was when I was in labor with our daughter. It's very, very, very special to me. So this is the diaper bag I made. Um, a couple, probably not that much later. Um, this is one of my all hand sewn bags and it doesn't have any liner or anything like that. We bought just a, an organizer that dropped in for all the diapers and bottles and stuff like that. And May made this little um, tag, which is pretty cool. Um, just says the kids' names and the phone number. Um, I like, I, you know what, I didn't want to carry that, that uh, Vera Bradley bag and I just, I could see myself outside of the bathroom waiting, and I'm like, I'm not going to be that dad holding that stupid bag. I want to, I want her to carry something that I don't mind holding. So we both loved this bag, um, <laughs> and obviously super special. Also with our our first child, our daughter Julia, um, and just yeah, it was our go-to for everything. Um, usually we'd pack all her stuff at the bottom, and you could a couple blankets on top it's really big and I would also use it just kind of as my go-to everyday bag for a few years yeah phone fits real nice in there yep phone and I would put my keys in there as well so another hand sewn bag that I made this is a crossbody style this one does have an interior lining um, so I make a bag for the interior bag for the exterior drop it down in there and sew them all together it takes a, a week or two for me to make this is probably my favorite bag. I think, do you remember if he made this when um, Julia was around? Yeah, same same time frame. So I've well, had it as long as five years? Um, something like that. I've had it for a handful of years and it's probably my very favorite bag. I still choose it um, most times when I'm going out. I chose it this morning. Um, I fit my phone and wallet, and it, it has great carrying capacity, and the crossbody strap is awesome. <laughs> um, great if you're walking around the city. One of the last trips we went on together before COVID was to New York to visit my sister, and I love it for traveling when you're on a plane and walking around, and it fits just enough, but not too big and heavy, so definitely my favorite. She had a couple, um, she has tons of like little pouches from Target, and so I'm just continually trying to get those out of my life, <laughs> get those out of our life. And So if she's using something that's that size, it's like I would much rather make her something um, that is that size that, um, and replace it. So this so. one I typically carry, this was what I would transfer out of different bags. So work bag to the small crossbody, I would take these two my wallet and this small pouch um, and they transfer easily and have all my stuff so I love both of them. So the wallet did come. But yeah I mean this is a ver this is a larger version of this so the wristlet wasn't big enough for her keys and her phone and everything like that so I added some height to it 
and I actually the one I made for her, the first one I made for her, she returned it. So it was, it was like an inch shorter or inch, um, yeah, an inch shorter in this direction. And on the inside, I did, I had like a little heart. Um, and she's like, oh, I, her phone fit, but her key fob didn't quite fit. And uh, she said, I, I just wanted just a little bit bigger. I was like, it's okay. So I brought it to the shop and somebody actually bought it for their wife uh, for Valentine's Day. Uh, maybe it was for, I guess it was for a different holiday, but he bought it for his wife and it already had the heart on the inside and he uh, came out smelling like a rose. Um, having this personalized thing, but it, it's very similar to the long zip wallet, but just three side zip, little organization on the inside. It was just in 2000, fall 2018 where I bought the sewing machine and so same story with the pouches in my life and so this was the first thing that I made for May on a sewing machine. Um, yeah. So this pouch goes in my work bag every day. I work in the medical office so I have lots of odds and ends that I carry. I have pens in here, toothbrush, just you name it. Um, stuff you might want to have when you're at work. And I work at a different office different days of the week so for the work week, this goes with the wallet, with the other bag. These are the things that transfer around. But this one's a lot of fun. I like how it stands up on my desk. And a lot yeah, of that's, what I was, that's what I was trying to say. I put the structured bottom in there and some feet. That's a great one. And um, my sister-in-law, who also carries one of Derek's totes, she has one of these, and she said she'll transfer it between bags. And it would fit nicely down in a lot of larger bags yeah. and stand up nicely. So that's a good one. Okay. And then May loves her totes, so when I was making, as I started making more canvas bags, so this is bag number 39, I made it in October 2019. So For my birthday, in October. Oh, is I this love a birthday this bag? bag? Yep, birthday bag. So I do one, one pocket in the front, and then two pockets in the back. Uh, this is getting much more similar to the items that I've been making more recently. And, we're in 2021 now. So next to the crossbody, this is my favorite. I carried a ton. Just a really great bag. I did a drop down zipper. So you don't see the zipper coming out of the top, but if you do need it, it has it there. And it has feet too. Feet and the structure. That's not good. What is it? It was really dusty on the bottom. That's okay. And the most recent thing I've made is this monster of a pool bag. So, uh, May had a bag from work with a big, like, it was a big promotional bag that had a brand real bag and a horrible, from a conference. horrible design on it. And it was this size, we were using it to go to the pool, but the problem was it didn't have any pockets. So she kept saying, I, need, I want a bag just like this, but I need more pockets, I need lots of pockets, I need lots of pockets. So I had to change the construction a little bit to like, these different panels so I could put a pocket on each side. So this one works, goes all the way to the bottom for a water bottle, another water bottle, phone, another phone, and then I put another sunblock pocket and another, uh, I don't know, sunglasses. And then way up here, I did a, another specific pocket with a little logo. I drew like a, a little key on it. So it's like, do you have the keys? All right, put the keys in the key pocket. Um, so put all this stuff in here, and the only sad thing, well, and then, so, let, let's say my story. I want to know the sad thing. Oh, so, um, so I, get, so I gave it to May, and one of the kids' water bottles spilled inside, and so she looked in, it's like, oh, it's wet, but it's empty, and so she dumped it out, and, uh, <laughs> my phone, which is still broken, um, cracked, so she, my phone was in one of the pockets, and so she came over to me by the pool, and she said, hey, um, your, uh, she said, hey, I accidentally broke your phone, and your brother texted you. <laughs> so, uh, the pockets can be a little bit of a downside, but that's what happened there. Don't dump it out with phone <laughs> that has no protective case. Yeah, this bag has been a lot of fun. We go to the pool and the beach a lot in the summer, and it's great to be able to stuff full of towels and all the good stuff. I thought you were going to talk about the handles. Uh, yeah, I, I did. I made a bunch of mistakes on this bag, so 
the handles, uh, they're, they're twisted. One goes one way and one goes the other way. It, it, this one goes one way, this goes, goes the other way. It doesn't impact it for carrying it. When I first made this, this puck on the side, I actually sewn across it on accident. It was just a, a silly mistake. Um, these top pieces of leather, um, it just wasn't that finished up here, so I added the leather to cover that up. And then there's a couple spots on the interior that I was having trouble with the binding. Um, so I had to like hand sew it and, and kind of uh, make it make it work. But it, it was, yeah, it was a really challenging construction for me. I'm hoping to make something, hoping to get better. Maybe with some different sewing machines, I might be there, but it came out nice. I, yeah, I didn't like it that much at first, but I like it a lot now. Yeah, and we've enjoyed it a few times um, recently, not for the pool, when we were visiting family for Christmas, um, just for a day trip. It's like, oh, what's a really big bag that we can put, you know, the bottle of wine and the gifts and the, the things for the kids and just fill it up, so it's been a lot of fun. That is all the things, and Valentine's is coming up. <laughs> Our anniversary is coming up. My half birthday is coming up, so yeah, the third, we'll keep you posted. The third anniversary, I have people come in all the time looking for third anniversary presents, um, which is traditionally leather. And um, so I tell them that for us, uh, every anniversary is leather. <laughs> That's true. It'll be our eighth wedding anniversary, so I'm hoping for leather.